what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? More than 1,000 people showed up to pay their last respects to Francisco Cibola, the man who fathered 281 children from 47 wives. Family, you heard it right. This dude had 281 children. The funeral attendees went against Angola's president's directive which banned large gatherings to curtail the spread of coronavirus and came together anyway. Francisco was described as a dedicated family man and respected personality in the community. His family and friends told the local press that he was a complete human being who was an advocate for education. Francisco was a popular polygamist who had a whole lot of children. Unfortunately, over a third of them, 125, did not survive. At the time of his death, he still had 156 children, 250 grandchildren. So how does he feed all of those mouths? Well, farming. The extended family primarily relies on farming, raising sheep, goats, and cows, plus crops of tomatoes, cabbage, onions, peppers, and corn. They sell the surplus at the market. I like the idea of farming, though. You know, I like that, man. I think we need to, more of us need to get into farming. We need to raise our own food. You know, we need to grow our own crops. We need to learn how to be self-sufficient and independent. I like that idea, but that's a lot of kids, man. It's just a little bit, just a little bit too many kids. I have a hard time just spreading my time with the two I have, you know? I got two, and it's tough, you know, just giving both of them the attention that they need. I cannot see how this dude could possibly know all of those children. Ain't no way he remember all those kids' names. I got family members, man. L listen, you got to remember 156 kids' names. If you include the dead, that's 126. I mean, that's another 125. You got... 250 grandchildren. Ain't no way he know all those people names. I have trouble just remembering like the my 100 first cousins all together I have on both sides. That's a lot of damn names, man. Ain't no way. I think that's a little bit too many kids. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, "Well, you know different cultures they do different things and you know, uh one-on-one -on -one is not it's valued in certain parts of the world and in certain cultures. Yeah. Hard for me to understand it. Very hard for me to understand it. But, you know, in certain cultures, you know, that's what it is. And they figure it out. I couldn't figure it out in the culture that I grew up in. You know, I'm, I'm conditioned to spend quality time with my kids and and I break it down where I spend time with them one-on-one -on -one also. So I can't possibly, I mean, if I had four kids would be a stretch, but 10 kids, 20, 30, 40 kids, 100. Now, I value that connection too much. I like the idea of being able to troubleshoot problems with my kids individually. Talk about their goals and aspirations one-on-one. -on -one. Go out to the movies with just my son or just my daughter. I like that. But damn, man, talk about different strokes for different kinfolks.
that is a lot of people coming from one sack. Damn. In case you wanted to know, he died in his early 70s. Early 70s. With that many kids, I would think he'd probably be about five, six hundred years old. Damn. Let us pray. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.